everyone, it's Amy, and I'm going to make a storage box to hold the things that I'm gathering on our um, Build Your Stash and Craft videos. This is going to be a supplemental video, and it is going to, I'm sure, be in parts because it's going to take a while, but I thought now that we have a ruler and a X-Acto knife, um, I have what I need to make this box and so I'm going to show you um, as I go along how I'm making it and now that we've got a lot of things built up this is what my husband got for Christmas and so I'm going to use this box it is it's too long and so I'm going to cut it down to about here and that's probably going to be about 20 inches but they can be any size box that you can find um, if you don't have a box the next time you go to the store ask them for a box and look around for smaller boxes that you have that can go inside as compartments. I want to kind of set this up like the inside of a um, like the inside of a roll top desk or something with little compartments to hold all of my different things and so that I have everything in one spot as we're going through this series. And I thought I would bring you along and show you how I'm working on it. I'm going to try and do some process videos and give you some hints and some tips and then also I'm going to just do some where I just show you what I've done and explain what I've done and if you have any questions as I'm explaining something that I've already done and you don't you know you don't get what I'm trying to explain but I've already finished that part um, just ask a question and I will go back and I will actually show you how to build that part so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and I'm going to cut this box down Okay, this box is so big, this is going to be a bit of a hard part, but what I want to do is because this box was too long, remember I want to cut it off, and so what I want to do is I want to cut enough from this end of the box that after I cut it, I can fold it forward and it will reach the front so that I have, so that I have a new end right here. I want to get rid of this right here, but I want to use this back portion to fold forward so that I have... Um, the sides on my box so what I've done is I've used my these are not the best rulers because they're hard to see through on anything dark um, so a solid cutter colored ruler would probably be better um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my box in width so my box is 11 and a half inches wide so then I want this portion of my box from here to wherever I cut, I want to cut 11 and a half inches so that I can fold it forward and it will meet the front of the box. So I'm going to measure this way, starting at the beginning of the box, and measure 11 and a half inches. Okay, so 11 and a half inches is right there and that's actually going to be right at the bottom of this line so that's a nice thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut right along the bottom here of where it says powered and then I'm going to measure 11 and a half inches on this side and cut it and then I'm going to measure 11 and a half inches on this side and cut it and then I'm going to leave this back portion on here. So then what I'll do is I will cut along here to remove the three sides that I just cut. And I will also cut along here. So the only thing that is left is this back portion right here. And it's going to be 11 and a half inches from where I cut to where it stops. So I am going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to do one here. Try and get this where I hope it can be seen. Just go like this. Now this is a plastic ruler. If you have a ruler that has a metal edge on it, that works much better. Watch your fingers. Make sure that you keep them at least to the middle or further back on your ruler. Don't have your fingers hanging off the edge. You'll nick the end of your finger off with this razor knife. And do small. Don't try and just like cut through and reef through. 
just just light short strokes will give you a cleaner cut you'll have less chance of breaking your knife because the knife actually has little break off spots as your blades get dull you can break part of it off move it out this is a very long blade and um and still continue using it so you don't want to break your razor and you don't want to slip and cut yourself so we've made it through the middle so then i'm going to just continue make sure that i keep my fingers out of the way and right here i'm going to have to kind of just go slow up and down a little bit because there's a there's a reinforcement right here underneath this part of the box. And I really should not have been trying to saw it. Just little short strokes. It'll go through that reinforcement too. It's just another piece of cardboard. And I am pulling this towards me, but I have a chair. I have the back of my chair between me and this knife. So if I were to slip, I would hit the chair before I would hit myself. You, you always want to have something. You either want to go away from yourself. Sideways is best. If I stand over here and go sideways, that's a lot better than pulling towards myself. And I'm just trying to kind of get in camera. So be very careful with the razor knife. You could do a lot of damage. Okay, so don't pull towards yourself. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut it here, and then I'm gonna cut the other side, and then I'll come back and show you how I cut the ends off. Okay, so I have cut my box on, on three sides, and what I wanna do is leave the fourth side intact. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut so that I leave this back side attached I'm going to cut along this edge to leave my back on there and again don't draw your knife towards yourself now right here there is a fold um, this is where the box does come together right here so I can run my knife right along that edge and I won't need my ruler there because that's that's right where the edge of the box is do it carefully just do it in soft strokes. Don't push too hard. You won't dull your knife as fast if you don't push so hard. You also will have many less accidents. Okay, so there we go. Now that is unattached. So there's side one that's cut, side two that's cut, side three that's cut. Arr. Sorry, this is big and bulky. And then I want to cut it right here, which actually I've already done that so that you didn't have to watch me on this one because that was just a fold. I just held my ruler there and I just ran my knife down there, making sure at all times that you're watching where your fingers are. The only thing I have is okay, right there, the corner was attached. Okay, so now I have part that I can put on the end of my box here. Now I'm going to score that before I fold it, but the other thing is because this is the side that the lid was attached to, I need to take that lid off because this piece right here, this is the piece that I'm going to fold forward and it's going to meet the front of my box. So that lid's going to be in my way. So I'm going to stand at the end and go sideways. And again, there is just a crease right there, so I'm just gonna run right down that crease. When you're all done, you can decorate your box up pretty, so if your cut's just a little bit jagged or a little bit off, it's not gonna hurt anything. You wanna try and, try and be close, but if it's not absolutely perfect, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And there we go. I'm going to shut my knife up so that I don't cut myself with it. And so this is what, <laughs> so easy for you to see, isn't it? This is what I have so far. And I'm going to fold this forward. 
Now I want it, all of my, the corrugation lines are running this way. So it's not gonna wanna fold like this very easy. So I'm gonna need to have something to go across here and score it. I can hold my ruler on there, but I'm gonna get um, a butter knife and I'm gonna use the opposite end and I'll score this. I'll be right back with that. Okay, I'm back and I wanna score between this edge and this edge so that I can fold this box up without it getting too wonky. And, oops, sorry about the shake. I am going to, let's see, I'm right-handed, so I'm not gonna be able to do it that way. I'm gonna use my box top because it's as wide as my box and it's solid. So I'm just gonna sit that right where I wanna score. I'm gonna use this rounded end of this fork and I am just going to run it from one side to the other. And all that's to do is to kind of put a dent in the cardboard. Um, in a few spots I can hear it breaking through. I really don't want it to break through. I just want it to put a dent in there. So if it breaks through a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But now can you see we have a dent right here? And this is where we're going to fold our box. And that made it just fold so much easier. Now hopefully our box should be as tall as our sides. I'm just, sorry I'm out of frame, I'm just folding that fold a little bit harder. And this box I was thinking was exactly square and it is not. So when I measured originally, I measured the width this way. And so I have just a little bit of an extra lip right here. So what I'll do is I will just take pencil or a pen or anything like that. I'm going to hold it up against my box. Just hold it up there nice and tight. And I'm going to draw a line. Make sure you don't push down on the center of your box, which is what I just did. You don't want to do that. Just draw a line across there. And now I will just cut across where the line is so that the box will be. And then I will have a square box. I'm gonna take the camera down really quickly and show you the size that I've got here. Sorry. Oh, that was fun, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the size of the box that I have. This is going to be my other end. And eventually I'm gonna cut the front and the top off also, but I needed to have the four sides and I wanted it to be a little bit longer than this box was wide, or I could have just used those four sides and cut the top off. But I wanted it to be a little bit longer because I have quite a bit of stuff that we're gonna be putting in there. And I just wanted to make sure since I was gonna to go to all this trouble that I had enough room, at least for a while. So I'm gonna let you go right here and I'll be back in just a bit. And a quick tip that I forgot to tell you is, after I drew the line, I was getting ready to cut this. I put another piece of cardboard underneath of it um, to protect my table because otherwise your knife's gonna go through and you're gonna cut whatever surface you're on. So you'll feel as you cut through this piece and that will make some marks into this piece, but it won't cut all the way through because that's a nice heavy piece of cardboard. So don't forget to cut on something. And also the way to use these knives is you push this button to, to make your knife stick out. And if you can see here, see all of those little lines, each one of those lines gets broken and it gives you a new knife with a new point. And so when you extend this, there's little clips here, you just go to like the first one. I usually have like one and a half or two sticking out. And then what you do is there's this little piece in the back and you pull 
that backwards and that locks the knife right into that spot so that as you're cutting you don't accidentally push this piece and push the knife way out because if you weren't to lock it and you you know you were cutting you could actually push that out or pull that in while you're cutting you don't want that to move so after you get it where you want it which is not too far out the further out you are the more chances you're going to have that that knife's going to break because it's scored to break on each one of those lines so keep it short and when you think that's about where you want it then take this little piece in the back, pull it backwards, pull the two apart, I guess you could even say, and um, and then you'll know that that knife is locked right in that place and it's not going to move. So, alrighty, I'm going to be right back and show you. Well, let's just do it right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape up this side, and then and I'm going to take the phone down. Okay, so I'm going to tape it up. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to measure two inches from the back and I'm going to cut two inches right across here. I'm going to come down here on the front and I'm going to measure up two inches and I'm going to cut two inches right across here. And actually two inches on the bottom here. On the top, I think I'm going to leave four inches. I can always cut that shorter if I want to. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut across the top and across the front. And then what's going to happen is at the end, we'll be cut four inches here and we'll be cut two inches up here. So then I'm going to cut a diagonal just like this from the two inch mark to the four inch. And that's this piece of the box is going to come off and that is going to leave us our little roll top desk to start working inside. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll come back and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I taped my end onto my box and then at the top I cut I cut a line across the top at four inches because I might, this is going to be the top of our, our unit and I might want to maybe set something on top of that. That's why I made it four inches. And then on the front because I don't want too much in my way, but I don't want stuff falling out. I, I measured up two inches and cut straight across the front at two inches. So that's the front and the top. And then what I did on the side was I just used a piece of cardboard and I cut from the four inch mark to the two inch mark. And we'll do it on here. This is again, here's the top. And so here's our four inch, here's our two inch. I put a piece of cardboard across that and drew a line, but actually it's easier if you have something to run against. So you just hold your card. The reason I'm using the cardboard and not my ruler is my ruler is not long enough. So I'm just gonna hold this piece of cardboard here and just use my knife and just carefully make cuts until it goes all the way through. And actually when I drew the line, it kind of puts a little bit of a dent in the box where you're drawing the line. And so um, that even kind of gives up a place for your knife to, to run down in that dent that the pen made for you. Okay, so now our corners are the only thing that we have left attached. And so we're just gonna go here and see where it's still attached. So I'm gonna come in the front. And all I have to do is just get this little corner to release. Be very, very careful. The corner is tough and you don't wanna break through and have the knife take off on you and cut yourself. Always be hugely careful. And that's why it was so tough because it's got a little bit of a liner on it. I'm going to come up here and here we've got the tape that they put on the box so that's also making it a little tough. And that's got an insert also. Okay, now what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to cut through this inside insert 
And so I'm going to carefully from the back, I'm going to put my hand underneath, but the insert is up here. I'm going to keep my hand far away, grab the back corner of that insert, and cut along our box because that's attached. We need to get it unattached. And there we go. Okay, and we'll cut this we'll cut this little extra piece off in just a second and I it's kind of hard to see, I know. We'll cut that off. But this is what we have now. This is our box. This is the front. And this is the top. And this is the piece that we just cut off. Now, this piece right here, we can actually keep this. I'm going to show you there's the front. So this is going to be the inside of our little roll top desk or secretary. And this is the top. So see, we've got that nice angle on it. It'll be easy to get into. It's got lots of room, but it's contained. And if we want to, we can reinforce this piece that we cut off and we can keep it so that we can actually set it back on top of there if we want to cover things up. So we'll keep that just in case we want to do that later and um, we'll continue working on our box here. We do need to cut off this little flap and again make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. I'm going to hold way out here and I'm going to cut away from me. And I'm just going to cut along that line. To get rid of that extra little clamp. You could even do this with your scissors. Whatever you do, small, short strokes so that you don't cut yourself. And there we go. That's our box. So... Now we're going to have to decide what kind of compartments and dividers we're going to put inside and that will be next. And that will be on a new video and that will be the department compartments and dividers will be the name of that video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this will help you make a nice desk for yourself or storage spot for yourself. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye bye.